And now, case concluded. The drab, functional office of a detective attached to the CIB. The door opens to admit Detective Sergeant Renshaw. Ah, Renshaw, come in. How's the Preston case progressing? I think we can write case concluded on the file, sir. Oh, excellent. The inquest um, tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. You'll be giving evidence, of course? Yes. And what about the case you'll present? Well, sir, in the first place, I can prove that Preston wanted his wife out of the way. Another woman? Exactly. His wife was older than he, semi-invalid. The other woman, younger, attractive. So Preston said about planning one on the face of it would have been a pretty cunning murder. Did you ever hear of a poison called Erature? No. Little known, but deadly. Once it enters the bloodstream, the victim dies almost instantaneously with all the symptoms of heart failure. I see. Erature. Uh, where did he get it? A research chemist with whom he's been friendly for years. Preston visited this man's laboratory, and the next day they discovered a small quantity the poison was missing. And how was it to be administered? Preston was rather clever about that. His wife sewed a great deal, even though her sight wasn't particularly good, and her fingers somewhat stiff with arthritis. A prick of the needle previously dipped in the poison? Exactly. Apparently, she often pricked her fingers when she was working. So Preston gave her a coat that needed a couple of buttons replaced. He offered to thread the needle for her, making sure it was the one he treated. One of the maids observed him doing that and remarked how thoughtful of his wife, dear Mr. Preston, was. Yes, go on. Well, the rest was easy. She began sewing on the buttons and the inevitable happened, as Preston knew it would. Suddenly she cried out that she'd pricked her fingers. Preston rushed into her with the same maid who'd observed him threading the needle. Again, he was all solicitude. And so she apparently died of heart failure in a few seconds. There'd be no trouble about a death certificate. Mrs. Preston has always had heart trouble. I see. Then how the devil did you trap Preston? No, I didn't, sir. He trapped himself. The maid was practically in hysterics and more than willing to testify that Preston had done everything possible for his wife. What about the needle? Did he get rid of it? I've no doubt he intended to once the maid was out of the way. Thread another needle that hadn't been doctored and leave it by the body. But it didn't work out that way. Calm though Preston appeared, his nerves must have been screaming. And as he replaced the needle he'd treated in the pincushion, he pushed it into his own finger. And well, even the doctor found it hard to believe they'd both died of heart failure. And his autopsy proved it. All right, Renshaw. You go along to the inquest tomorrow and tell the coroner how it happened. In the meantime, I'll take your advice and mark the Preston file. Case concluded. <laughs> 